up until 2020, we had 10 regions and it was, the, the evidence was laid by 60% or more and you're past the 50 plus one percentage rule, which will guarantee you either you want to call it the Flagstaff House or the Jubilee House, you have your foot there. And so that's what it's been like. And if you, if you look across, uh, by 2000, 2008, really, uh, those are the, the, the instances where there wasn't really a clear one-touch one touch victor. And so in 2000, for instance, President... Uh, uh, the late Evan Tata Mills led that round 50%, but in the runoff, uh, President Kufour won it eventually with more than 60% of the, of the regions as we had it. In the 2004 elections, it was the same. If we go to 2008, the first round, where we had uh, now President and then candidate of the governing New Patriotic Party, Nanado Dankwe Kufuado, mm. winning 40% uh, of the regions, he was leading in that particular elections, but had not been able to cross that crucial line. In the runoff, he lost two more regions to Professor John Evans at Mills, mm. uh, the deceased. And then uh, he, having garnered 80 percent of the regions, won the elections. It was same in 2012 and then in 2016 as well. We saw another Adodankwe Kufuado continue that theory that if you did 60 percent of the 10 regions as we had it, you are going to win the elections. But 2020 became an outlier for all. It, be, it changed the dynamics because the regions increased from 10 to 16. Yeah. And so it meant that uh, not necessarily doing 60, but that analysis that we brought you about the regional basket and how many votes are in each region will begin to matter a bit more. And so we saw in 2020, President Ekufuado won seven out of the 16 regions, but he won comfortably with a one-touch victory, whilst John Mahama won nine out of the 16 regions and yet could not be able to yeah. uh, make his way to, to the Jubilee House. And so the president won seven. That was 43.75%, outrightly uh, dismissing that theory of 60% of the regions and having to secure the Jubilee House. Mm -hmm. Now it's about which regions have the most numbers. And if we look at the regions in which the president won in 2020, the Ashanti Eastern region, always a dominant factor for the governing new patriotic party in terms of their fortunes and how well they will do in an election. And there's the ever present uh, swing regions, the Western region, the central region, mm -hmm. despite the Western region having been a part of it cut off now to the Western North region. They continue to stay true mm. to the swing status. The Central region as well continue to stay true. The Greater Accra region, which became the, the outlier in terms of the swing regions as we've had it, that's changed, uh, went green for, for, for the NDC. But mm. the Buna Hafu region and then the Hafu region, all as well as the Northeast region, which the Vice President's influence continues to manifest greatly, where the regions, Nanara Dankwe Kufuado had to win and to ensure that he, he made it past the line. And so in the lead up to 2024, a lot of dynamics will come to play in terms of how well each of the candidates are able to do. Mm. What we know for, for, for a matter of fact is that these two regions, the Ashanti region, the Eastern region, and by a long stretch in terms of the work that's been done by the vice president and the fact that he is now the flag bearer of the governing new patriotic party, you'd expect the Northeast region to be joining these two regions in terms of showing the fact that they are the blue regions uh, in terms of Ghana's, Ghana's, Ghana's elections and safe re uh, havens for, for, for the NPP. The Western region, the Central region, continue to be swing. The Greater Accra region, despite its outcome in 2020, will still be up for grabs. The most populated, reg uh, uh, most populated region in terms of registered voters as well will be up for grabs. These are the regions, really, who will be the kin makers in terms of how things pan out. Because traditionally, the Northern region has always gone for the NDC, mm. OT, Volta, Upper East, Upper West. They've all always stayed true to the NDC. It will still come back to the numbers from the Western region, the Central region, the Greater Accra region, and by a long stretch, either of the Buna Hafu and then the Hafu regions uh, to be able to determine where all of this goes.